Hello, good evening, and welcome to tonight's episode of Eat, Grid, and Survive Plays a Board Game. Yay! Yay. Board Games! Uh, I am Luke, I am going to be your host, Dungeon Master, Explorer... Explorer? <laughs> Doctor... <laughs> when, did, when did that appear on your CV? You know, um, <laughs> no, one said, no one checks CVs anymore. Um, mm, I I'm, going to be, I'm going to be doing this whole thing of leading us through this chaos of game that we're going to be playing. With me as always, I have Dom. Hello. And I also have Laura. Hello. Who is not always here, but, you know, that's... that's hey, awesome. not, not everyone's have been here all the time. Yeah, it's fine. A lot of stuff to do. Um, tonight we are going to be playing uh, another board game in aid of our charity push for... Racial game uh, as part of our push for Dimension UK. Um, tonight we are going to be playing Role Player by Thunderworks Games. This is a new game to most of us. Um, mm -hmm. I have played it, but only on the solo mode. So we may get things a little bit wrong, but we're going to give it a go and see how it turns out. Um, we are playing this on Tabletopia, uh, uh, who are our partners for our charity push. Um, so big thanks to them. It is a free game on Tabletopia, so it doesn't matter who you are, you can just go in, you can play that regardless. Uh, but we do have a premium account, it's just ours, we pay for it. So it is our own to do as we will. Um, and I think that's all the disclaimers that I need to do. We've mentioned Dimension UK, we've mentioned playing this, and yeah, that's all. So um, we'll just do a little bit of chat before we start. How is everyone? How is chat? How is how are my players? How is chat? As in how is chat or how is us? Well, both. Oh. <laughs> both, I guess. Good, thanks. I'm going to put in a I'll thing. Be quite, um, I actually um, watched, uh, what was it? Uh, how, how to play. How to play this morning. Mm -hmm. So I actually feel ready rather than compared to um, Wingspan the other day. <laughs> so um, I feel a bit more prepared. I went for a run when I got home from work, then had some dinner, and I've read the rules in about the last 15 minutes, so I feel completely unprepared. <laughs> like it could be worse to make sure the audio is coming through. Yeah, it's coming through. Good. All right, then. So, um... Oh, it's assigned us things already. It has, yeah. Boo. So, I wanted to pick who I was Oh, we still be. can. We still can, so let's uh, let's cut away and we'll go to the uh, to the game itself. Check the cameras are working on this, and no, they are not. So I'm just going to go to the big widespread view because that's easier. So let us jump into the game. All right. So in role player, we are building characters for RPGs. We are um, effectively building out our player to do to go off and do an adventure in the world, probably in the world of cartographers at some point. Um, but the way that we play this game is we are bidding to create the best character that we possibly can. And the way that we do that is by doing a number of different things, including, uh, well, most of it is assigning dice to build up their stats. Uh, so I'm going to zoom in here and have a look at my character sheet. So I've got a little character sheet that is set up here. This is a halfling wizard that has the guardian background, which is quite fun. Um, and what we're basically trying to do is we're trying to build out their attributes by drafting dice that will be placed out here in the market. Now, these are the tracks, and then we'll be buying items with the gold that we have gathered to help us on our way. So as the dice come out, they will come out, they'll be rolled, and they'll be given values and assigned from their lowest value left to right. And as they come out, it's that when we take from the first player, takes a choice of which one they want, which initiative card they want, and which dice they want, and they put it onto their character sheet wherever they wish to, or wherever it is an empty space. Now, if they put it onto different attributes, they have got some modifiers on them, which may help them with getting the scores that they want, which are indicated on their class card over here but they also get a little action that they can do as part of it so if they play it on a i'm going to use this black dice to symbolize things if they put it on the strength icon they can choose to flip over one dice to its opposite side 
So if I was to, for instance, I had this on here and I had a one somewhere on the board, I could choose. Flip. I could flip it over to the other side. So it does have a flip. It does have a flip. Yeah, I thought yes. I, I thought I was going to have to just constantly roll. Well, ain't that handy? There is a flip option that you can just flip it over, well, or you can set the value if you want to. Ain't that handy? If you put it on the dexterity icon, you can switch two dice around, however you like. You can just switch two, swap places, keeping their original values. Um, constitution, that allows you to increase one stat by one, or decrease it by one. It's your choice. Intelligence, you can choose to re-roll a dice uh, anywhere on your board, and then choose which of the numbers you wish to take. Wisdom allows you to move your alignment around your uh, alignment charts and placing it in charisma gives you a little charisma token which can be used to get a discount when you go to the market. Once you have all picked and uh, placed your dice you then go to the market and you can spend money in the initiative order to pick up these various items uh, which are, fall into the general, the general remits of traits which have an immediate impact onto your uh, character's alignment um, and can give you bonus points at the end of the game. Uh, and weapons, which can be held in either one or two hands. You can only hold enough if you have enough hands. Which for most of us it's only two. Which of us it's only two. Uh, skills, which can be used, uh, you can use them as an action on your turn, so you basically get a, a little bonus action that you can do. You can adjust uh, your alignments depending on the direction that is put on here and you get to do the power on them. You can do them anytime even after you've just bought the item. Uh, and you also have armor which goes into the corner and those are part of a set collecting. Um, and that's pretty much it as far as it goes. You also have uh, bonus points that you can score from putting certain colored dice in the right pattern uh, and points for getting your alignment in the right spot for the background that you have got. Um, and that's pretty much it as far as the gameplay goes out. There's some other bits and pieces that will come up as we play, um, but for the meantime, um, are you guys happy with the characters that have been randomly assigned to you by mm. the game, or would you like to choose what they are? I... I... Go on, Dom. I'm happy enough. I'm, I'm a frog princess. <gasps> what? Excuse me. Let me just come over there and have a look. I'm a frog aristocrat. Whoops. So I'm so done. Dolores Crowell. I've got hermit. I've got frog kin hermit warrior aristocrat. Arist How are you a hermit ha aristocrat? You can, well, stuff can be two things. <laughs> stuff can be two things. Yeah, my, family, my family want me to marry me off to advance their <laughs> status and form alliances. I just want to be strong and live a peaceful life. <laughs> That's fair enough. I respect your wishes. No, I want to be something different. You want to do something else? Yeah. Okay. You don't want to be a dragon king cleric? No. I like the idea of being able to pick. I'm just going to set the camera view for no, you. No, why did I flip you? Stop. There we go. <laughs> Lunatic. Lunatic. Lunatic player. Yeah, sounds, sounds about right. So, whilst Laura's doing that, um, I'm going to have a look at my character and see who I've got over here. Oh, I've got two dragon kin. Doesn't really. Can you change race? You can change race, yes. Where's race? The races are. Uh, I don't think you can. No, oh, maybe you can't. They're Ooh. in the brown bag. Are they in the brown bag? Uh, what have I got here? I think by the look of things, you will have human, elf, and possibly dwarf. Dwarf, elf, orc, human. Human. So we'll let you decide which one you want to be. Um, the one thing I had toys with um, for doing this is that once we have built our characters, we could try and arrange a little one shot to do. Uh, to go along and have a look at that would be funny how I'm these characters be actually perform in the real world I'm going to be an elf because I'm a basic person that's fair enough hello Mr Optim hello Optimistic Elf how are you Optimistic Elf oh look at that it's someone needs to clean this table <laughs> <laughs> alright 
Alright. So nice. Are you going to uh, um, Dome? Uh, oh no, there are some more there are more class cards here, there are more uh, cards here. I don't mind being a cleric or a paladin. No offense to the dragon people. Okay. So in the meantime, Don, if you would like to grab your little red action cubes from up here. Sorry. Uh... Up here by the brown bag. I'm gonna set this camera as well, actually, what's up here? I thought I could hide in here. I'm going to stay as a cleric, because, you know, I never I never got much of a chance to play that cleric that I wanted to. Optimistic Girl says, I thought I could hide in here, but you spotted me. Well, what uh, elks are not very stealthy, as we have established. I'm going to stay as a, an el a cleric elf lunatic, <laughs> because why the heck not? So one of these cubes goes on our line of track in the centre. Uh, you get a nice little. You get some white ones, and another one goes and sits on your character board. Now, I'm going to suggest, for the sake of when we pick initiative cards, instead of taking the cards, we move our extra cube and we just put it on the initiative. Yes, cards. the extra cube's not used until um until scoring at the scoring, end. Scoring, yeah, yeah, that's fair. Because that just makes life a little bit easier mm -hmm. for us. That's okay with you, Dom. Yeah. Would you like the red cubes to go with your red player name? Red seat floor, or? Oh, I just picked oh, yeah. up. I picked up white. No, no, no. Yeah, because the, the cubes are on the cards. Because those are your class so. colours. Uh, we also have a play sequence and individual scoreboard over above brown. Uh, I'm going to flip mine over so that we can see the order is of there, play. Is there something we have to do? We, um, isn't it? People, someone gets extra gold. Or whoever's number one. Depends on the starting gold. player, yes. Mm. So, um, let's decide. Putting a baby to bed. Bye. Okay, Mr. Opt Optimist to go. We will see you in a little bit. All right, first of all, uh, we will decide who's starting player is. So, everyone take out the dice. Watch out. Oh, out. yes. And we're going to roll it. Oh. <laughs> I think we should have just gone with Paul. I got a three. Don, would you like to pull the dice out of your out of bag? I still got a six. Oh, out of the bag. Out the black bag, or an any other dice. I'm just going to keep, we can keep the dice as they are, or we can roll them all that we picked up. Yeah, I just rolled one of mine. I've got two. Got two, okay. So Laura is our first player. Yay. So we will give, uh, I'm going to unlock the bag. No, no, it's free to move. So I'm going to go to spin. Yeah, can I move the bag? Nope. Nope. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, I tell you what we'll do. We will use this green cube to indicate first player. So that makes life easier. So because Laura is the first player, Dom is the second player, I get an additional gold because I'm going and third. Dom gets initial two gold. No. That's in a that's in a four player game. So what you what we do get though is Dom should Dom, Dom get something though. No. No, I get to go second. You get to go second. Oh you're second, Dom. Yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> that's okay. I'm um, used to going round in a circle. Well, we will. Oh, but we are. We will be, but I'm just, I'm just player three at the moment. Oh, so yeah. One, two, and then three. So what we now get is, uh, have a look at your dice. If you've got any gold dice, you get two additional two gold for them. Are I we believe. using the dice that's right in front of us? Yes, because those were already drafted up back. Okay. Course. But we right. will roll them, I think, because Don's already rolled one of his. I got a gold dice, so I get a gold piece. I've got three gold pieces. I have Damn. two. Six. I've got one. Two. Yep. Can you get six? Wow, that's four. Um, now, we also have each of our uh, classes have got their own special ability. So, mine is enigmatic. When I discard a card from the market, which is one of the options, you can choose to discard from the market and put it away uh, and gain two gold. I get four instead mm. of two. Uh, what does our cleric get? Bob, that was the wrong camera. <laughs> You've just saved the wrong one. I've just set the wrong thing. It's the camera. Uh, I wanted that. There we go. Well, once per round, I may take. I may pay two gold to take a wisdom attribute action, which I believe is you can move mm. your um, alignment. Correct. You can box. maneuver your alignment box around, uh, so you can change your alignment as you see fit, which is pretty powerful. Um, as things go, and I'm just going to set this camera for Dom. Dom, what is your warrior able to do? Well, the camera break. It a warrior is always prepared, so after buying an armor card, I may take a constitution attribute action, which is increasing or decreasing Ooh, the one nice. by one 
That is pretty handy. Uh, so I'm going to cut back down to me. Um, or probably shouldn't. Have so you all got. I've only got my modifiers to my dex and con. Yes. Yeah, well, uh, well, I have them to strength. Uh, oh, minus two to my strength two. and okay. plus two to my charisma. Oh, yes. I'm supposed to, I'm going to have problems. Have you got to, you've got to get strength and your frogkin doesn't get a strength in, does it? I get a, a minus two penalty to strength. And you need 18? Yes. I've got a minus two to con. Is that even possible? It is. There are various items in the back, in the deck that you can get, which give you bonuses to your mm -hmm. attributes. It's on the other side of the warrior card. See if it's anything That's not too bad. Because uh, oh. I want a bit of okay. a higher dex. What have you got instead? Oh, the barbarian! <laughs> that should give you four <gasps> weapons. Oh, you oh. powerful okay. little thing. That makes a lot more sense. I'm Princess Dolores. Well, warrior, barbarian, <laughs> that sounds great. Okay, so we are going to be setting out our dice into our character attributes. Uh, now we've agreed that we're going to roll them all. Is that right? Our dice? Yes. Yeah. Sure. I cannot select multiple dice, so I'm just going to need that. I'm going to roll them separately. And we have to put these in. What was it about the coloured dice? Uh, that so the that's end? the so putting them in the order that is your uh, no, background. No, no, I meant does isn't there because you have a dice the same color as your. Oh character. yes, you get bonus points if you draft dice that are the same color as your character cube. I understand. Uh, that was a bunch of terrible rolls. <laughs> now, when you place the dice in the startup phase, when you're setting up the player, you do not activate the actions; you just place them in. Mm -hmm. So, let's see what I can do here. I probably want some good intelligence to start myself off with. Because hmm. uh, my best scores I can get for dex and intelligence. So I'm going to put a 5 in those two. Go three there. Ah, no, picking up all my dice at the same time. Let's put one in there because I don't really need that much. Uh, Christmas you can put more than one die in a row, can't you? Correct. You, you can you can fill out the row and if you do you get a gold you get one gold for filling out the row. You just you have to work to... left to right. Yes. Yeah. You're just not able to use that action. I'm fairly comfortable with what I've got there. I've got a few things that let me re roll dice and reallocate them if I need to. I got a poor roll to start off with, though. I don't know what Dom's doing. Ooh. God, have I got too many dice? No, we start with seven because it's okay. st it's uh, the number of players plus four okay. for the start up. Um, in a two-player game, it's just six dice. I think it's to get it going a little bit quicker. There's, mm -hmm. there's effectively one fewer rounds. Let's see what our elf. Cleric is up to. Dang, girl. That is some good stats you got off the bat. I'm in trouble. You can't move them once they're placed in, can you? You can if you get use the dex action. And there are some yeah, items and skills that can let you move them about. You can't discard them. No, they are set in place. That is where they are. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, let us go around to the market. So, uh, Laura, you are the starting player. Mm -hmm. Would you like me to do this bit as a uh, as it's the first round and no no you got like, like, don't does the first player have to roll the dice and place it or we just pick four you four dice just has to pick it, it, she, in the in the physical game it's the starting yeah. player that does it yes yeah so. okay let's do it go for it then bop, 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 bop. so draw four dice out yeah yeah yeah. Oh. And roll them for us. Bow. And then it's lowest to highest, isn't it? Yes, and you can choose when the values are the same, you can choose the start player gets to choose which order they go in. So I'm just gonna go like that. Three. Mm -hmm. Five. Alright. Now those cards have already got a gold placed upon them. So Laura, you get the first choice. Mm-hmm. 
of initiative cards. Remember, we're using our extra yeah. cube to indicate what initiative or taking. What would I like? Hmm. This is where the challenge comes in, is whether you want to go first and get the better items, or the first pick of the items, or you want the better dice value, and then can move on from there. Um, it's tricky. I don't know what I want. Okay, let's go, let's just go purple. Okay, so you're taking the one. All right, Dom, which would you like? Uh, I think I'll take initiative count two, so I get the blue dice. And you get yourself gold. Okay, do I put the dice on my board yet? Or that yes, you do. You place it into your space oh, now. Oh, you put it into space now? Okay. Yes. And can you then take the action? You can then do the action, yes. So for the sake of... Um, Everyone at home, because I can see what Dom has done. Let me make that a little bit clearer for you. Uh, let me guess, you're going to flip that over? Yep. Seems like a good thing. So, flip that one to, to no, a six. So, which one should let me do. Let's put you here. There we go. No, there you are. Cool. So, what was. So, what were you doing? Your, your I've put mine in. That lets you re roll the die and you choose which of the numbers you want. So, any die you wish. Oh. Okay, well, sure, let's re-roll this one. Yep. Oh, keep that. Oh, Thank was that all right for you? All right, and then over to me at the market. I shall... Hmm, I'll go ahead and school wise. I should have paid attention to what there was in the market. Yeah. Uh, I will take... Initiative blah, 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 blah. It almost makes no difference, but it's still worth doing something. I'm going to take the four initiative so that I can get the five, and I'm going to place that in intelligence, which lets me re roll a dice. I'm going to re roll this black one, it gives me a five, it puts my wisdom up to eight. That's good. All right, uh, and that brings us to the market phase. So, Laura, you are the first player. You get to choose from these wonderful items. Mm -hmm. Just, so I've just noticed there's no. Oh, that's, that's the discard pile. Oh yeah, that's the discard pile. So that's not actually part of it. No. Okay. Yes, yeah, you Ooh, have to pick out six, four. There's six cards. Oh, of course, because there are cards that are discarded yeah. at the start of it. Yes, you're right. You get a... There are some cards which do let you buy from the discard pile, so that is free information for everyone to go and have a look at. But we're just keeping that face down out of the way for the moment. I am going to get me some chain leggings. Mm -hmm. That will cost you three gold, as yeah. it says up here. And we'll score you one point at the moment and an extra, or one point at the end of the game, and then an extra one because it is worn by a white class. Yep. Which sounds. Oh, were you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so uh, my cleric is one. Yeah, that's unfortunate for you two. You're going to be fighting for the same armor type. I am not. Hey, hey. So, Dom, which of the. Would you like the Blessed Mace, the Loyal Trait, or the Acrobatics skill? Or you can discard one and get. Gold. Or you can discard it and get two gold. No, no, not for the skills. No, sorry, that was just for the the armor specifically. Oh, okay. Uh, the colors on on the cards are just to indicate that they're traits, weapons, armor, and skill. But for the armors, they are dual colored because they are best for it colored says, classes. Yeah, it says at the bottom like bonus point if you yes. red or white class. Okay, uh... Eh, 
let's gamble a bit. Let's go for being loyal and try to get points for hitting okay. my goal. Okay. So that costs you another three. I am going to pay two for the blessed mace because a wizard wants a mace. Mm. Uh, that has the benefit that if any time that a player discards from the market, I gain a gold. So that's pretty useful to have. All right, and that is the end of the market phase. So now we're into the cleanup. I uh, forget what our um, why our alignment is the thing that's just points you get at the end points at the end yes or oh, negative okay. points if you haven't got the alignment yes. all right so because uh you bought the loyal trait done oh, why has that happened uh because you bought the loyal trait your alignment moves one square to the left all right oh yeah there's what looks like a little youtube button on those um yeah Things. Or, or an arrow, as we are <laughs> No, it looks like a YouTube button. Alright, so we're going to reset the market. Uh, so I'm just make sure I'm not missing anything in the. Uh, no, no, that, yeah. Is reset cool. market? Cool. Yeah, so return all initiative cards to the centre. So we now. Clean up, discard any unused charisma tokens and refresh one skill card. Hmm. What's the skill card? So skill cards are the uh, cards which have got uh, actions that you take on, like this Intimidate card. That is a skill card. Uh, oh yeah, so we can use it. We can yeah, refresh yeah. it. Yeah. Return um, any dice to the dice pool. Discard any remaining market cards. Draw new market cards. Add gold to the initiative cards. Yep, which I have done. So take your little cubes back. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pass the back. green cube of first playerness over to Don. Uh, Don, you may take out the dice, roll them, and place them as you wish. That is a round of role players. And what I like with the um, physical version of the game is that these are, they are actually holes that you can place the dice into. Oh, nice. So how many dice am I taking out of the dice? Just one. Four. Four? For the market. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but Dom picks one, doesn't he? No, he picks, picks Oh, yeah, four. no, sorry. Yeah, you put him on. This face, yes. Yeah, four. Yeah, yeah. I got confused. That's okay. <laughs> so you can now place them out in ascending, ascending order. order. Uh, apart from the blue and the white, you may place in whichever order you so choose. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Which of the dice would you like to take? That's a very good question. Not really any that I want, so I suppose to start by choose a, a low one to get the initiative or a high one to get. Those are indeed your options. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's my first game. I'm just I know, I know. I'm just... <laughs> okay. yeah. yeah, just trying to figure out how you get to these numbers. Which you can, because like, the highest you can have is 18. Yeah. So, yes. Okay. Go above and take a later initiative and then just discard to get some gold. Yeah. Uh, I will take number three. Well, gosh darn you. That's what I wanted. <laughs> Oh, no, mate, I'll go for two. Okay, so I'm going to put that in my... But I'll see what, we'll see what Dom do before I finish my turn. Well, we could just 
all pick a dice and then go around. And... No, it's fine. What are you What are you going for? Okay, uh, so I'm going to put that in the intelligence column, mm -hmm. and I'm going to use the intelligence section to re-roll the two and see if I get something better. Nice. A five. That's yeah, better. I'll keep that five. I figured you might. All right. Back to me. Uh, I'm going to be taking this purple. And I'm going to pop it into my Charisma, which gets me a Charisma token. So I get a one gold discount when I purchase from the market this turn. Yay. Uh, and I will be going second, or possibly first, depending on what Laura wants to do. Because that white four is one of her class dice. Oh yeah, what does that mean for me? It gives you an extra point at the end. Oh, uh, okay. And it's a high number. Just thinking, where do I want it, really? Hmm. <laughs> what would I like to do right now? Um, probably just get some. Probably just get up, up past ten would be a good idea. <laughs> um. It's it's unlikely you're going to be able to get all of these. To be honest. I'm going to try. Oh, yeah, you can certainly try. Mm -hmm. It's it's just unlikely. I'm right. just saying. I'm saying yeah. it for the audience's sake more than anything oh, else. Oh yeah. Right, yeah, I'm going to go for number four. All right. Oopsie daisy, come on, where's my block? Come on. Ah, where's the block? Okay, it's not actually letting me crap it now. There you go. Try now? No, still not doing it. Oh, do you want to uh, adjust your camera, maybe? Maybe it's just because of the angle you're at. Put it on the floor. There we go. That's annoying. Okay, I can move that you, one. You cast Mage Hand. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I was going to cast Mage Hand! I Sorry. got it now, cool. Okay, um, so I will place. Plies. Plies. I will place this one in this, my strength. Okay. The power of muscles, you get to. I put it. Yeah. So I can flip a dice, I'm going to flip this boy. Okay. No! That's not flip. Just set, set it to set six. Set to six, Lovely. thank you. Nice. Alright, uh, it then cuts to the market phase, which, uh, with the initiative, is me! It me. Uh, let's see. Could go for cunning because that gets me a point for every skill that I have. But in order to do that, I need skills. So I'm going to use my charisma token because I can, and I'm going to buy this intimidate skill for free. Oh, when did and she then, get a charisma token? Oh, she put it in I charisma. Place charisma. So before, or after selecting an initiative card, I can re-roll any number of dice in the dice pool and reorder them. But it does mean that I go a little bit more chaotic. Okay. As a result, uh, that is my choice. Uh, Dom, sir. Oops, okay. that is the other. The dot under the one means you go chaotic? The dot under the one? No, it's the, no, it's the arrow um, in, right. in the descriptive text. That tells okay. me. So, so if you use that as ability, you become chaotic. Correct, I become more chaotic. Got it. I become more chaotically inclined. But the, the difference is that with these trait cards, you can purchase those, and if you can't move your alignment cube, then it doesn't matter, you can still buy the card. Uh, but if these, if your uh, alignment cube is too far to one side and it can't move, uh, when you want to use a skill, you can't do the skill. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I don't really want to be honest. <laughs> Leather boots aren't any good for me. So I guess I'm going to be... Hang on. Yeah, I guess I'm going to be cunning. I will point out you can still wear the leather boots and collect them as a set. Yeah, you just get an extra bonus star for if they match if they, colour. If they're your but... set, yes. Okay. Uh... 
because if you have two two leather items, you get three points. Three, you get five, and four, you get eight. Nah, I'm going to become cunning. All right, so your alignment shifts a little bit. It can't. Oh, and it doesn't matter. Laura, what would you yeah. like? Um. I think four or more dice of the same colour in each column is quite... Or just in a column. It's quite a tricky even there. Yeah, it's quite a tricky, so I don't really like the look of that one. Um, the leather boots... Mm. You can mix and match armour. You can have multiple sets of armour. Oh, yeah, no, I know. But I'm thinking, like, maybe I'd prefer... I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to get just get rid of one. Okay. And take two gold. Uh, and because you have done that, I get a bonus gold. Because of my blessed mace. The blessed mm. mace of sneaking gold, whatever. <laughs> exactly. You've thrown stuff away. I get to sell the scraps. Uh, and that is the end of that round. So that leather boots goes away. This dice goes back in the bag. Move the green cube of the first player this to you. Yep. Uh, there is your cube over there, Laura. Thank you. I can actually pick it up this time. There's my first player cube. And here we go. Mark it. A mystic cloak. A long sword, a chain helm, a heavy crossbow. Sounds like I'm doing the generation game, doesn't it? <laughs> and a cuddly toy. Yep. All right. So we have a three on a gold dice, a four on a black dice, a six on a purple dice, and a two on the red. Hmm. Mm. Gold on each of these. Now, I also like that the heavy crossbow's ability is that when you're buying from the market, you pay one less gold, possibly because it's very intimidating if someone's walked yeah. up and is holding a heavy crossbow. <laughs> um, exactly what it is. All right, uh, before things start, I'm going to use my intimidate ability to re roll all of these dice. Oh, man. Actually, you're not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not going to do it now. I need to do it. I can do it after selecting initiative card, though, which is the pain in the backside move. Uh, I'm going to go second. I'm going to go for initiative card two, which gets me a gold, and gets me that gold three, which also gets me two gold. Uh, and by the way, at the end, money is a tiebreaker. It's not a. Uh, not points. Doesn't give you a... points for hoarding. Oh, I thought. I didn't think picking up a yellow would get you, get you gold. It does, yeah, yeah. the gold dice. Um, and I will place it in. This is where maths is really failing me. I'm going to place it in my strength, and I'm going to turn this one into a six. Which. Uh, yeah, it's, good. it's making getting that strength to a to a fourteen or a fifteen is quite tricky. It's doable, mm. but not well. Um, all right, so I might as well start ignoring that. And that is that. Now, looking at what I've got left, I'm going to use my intimidate ability to re-roll these dice. God damn you! And see what happens. That's a four. Two. And the no, okay, so what really happens is this black and the red swap places. So not a lot happened, but you know what? I wanted to try. Laura, what would you like to do? I'm going straight for that number six. Go for the six. Yes, please. Do you want me to? I got it. I got okay. it. I got it. I got it. He actually moves this time. Yeah. Get the purple six. Where are you going to place it? That is going straight on my wisdom. That's going straight in my basket. Oh, nice. Ladies and wisdom, and you may move your alignment. Yeah, to has to be. Yeah, it can only be left, right, up, or down. Can't be down. Yes, it can only be moved into the orthogonal spaces. Orthogonal. Uh, did you place both of those the the two the the first purple and the blue in your first? Yes. Turn? Gotcha. Just just checking. Yeah, everything else was one. Wanted to make sure that you hadn't. Uh, Missed out. Cool. Oh, Don. I get a gold because I put it in. You do get a gold. You have filled out that row. Don, which of the dice would you like? Uh, okay. So if I take the 
red dot is worth an extra point to me at the end of the game. And you get a gold. Really bad thing. Sorry, everyone. Uh, yes, it does. It allows you to shift your alignment to wherever you wish it to be. Live on square. There you go. Thanks for being neutral. Nice. Uh, and that gives you first initiative on uh, choosing an item. So, what would you like? <laughs> you know what? I think we're going to take the heavy crossbow. Alright, for four gold. Take four gold. And then everything else I buy will be cheaper. That's good. Need. That's good trade. I am going to buy the Mystic Cloak for four. Ooh. So I get one, two, yeah. three, four. And take the Mystic Cloak. Uh, and Laura, what would you like? Go straight for that train hat. Whoa! I mean, yes, I'll take that with me. <laughs> ah. uh. <laughs> Are you sure? It seems to be haunted. It doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't want to come with me. The haunted train hat. The worst of the train hats. All right. That is that. Very good. Very good. Yeah, there we go there. Laura gets the cube of first placeness. Oh, is that our third round? That is third round, yeah. Oh, wow. It goes pretty quick. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, we have an Ancient Spear, we have Obnoxious, we have Courageous, and we have Foolish. Yeah. And while I should have mentioned when I activated that skill, as I should have rotated it 90 degrees, I should have effectively tapped it. Yeah. But uh, it then comes back to me because, uh, well, we've done other things since then, so it goes back to that. Okay. Let's zoom out a little bit so you can have a look at this board and you can see what sort of nonsense we have. There you go. All right, uh, Laura, you are first player. Just looking to see what there is. So we have the Ancient Spear. When selecting an initiative card with gold on it, you gain an additional gold. For it comes wrapped in its own bear skin. You get Obnoxious. You get two stars for each attribute row with three of the same coloured dice. And I like that every obnoxious act is a cry for help. Uh, courageous, when scoring an attribute god, you add two or minus two to any single attribute score. And foolish, which gets you two uh, uh, stars if either your intelligence or wisdom is below eight. Eight or fewer, I should say. These are some interesting numbers that have come out. Hmm. Oh, you've got your cube. There you go. Oh, thanks. What would you like, Laura? Don't know. Let's no, okay, see what maths I've got. I'm amazed at the foolish one with a score of eight or less. Like, wow, you must have been really unlucky. Or, or people are aiming for that. It does happen sometimes. Whose card has got eight or less as an attribute? It's not. But they've basically gone that they've decided not to go for it as a score, but they have gone for that card to get two repetitions. Right. Because the thing is, is, intelligence and wisdom, if you're, not, if you're like a martial class or, yeah. a, you know, like a wizard, 
that, it, that one of them is going to be high, the other one probably isn't, so it becomes the dump stat effectively. Yeah, for example, I'd only get one star for having an insult if it's a 14 or higher at the end of the game. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, and it means that you could swap out your, you know, your terrible dice rolls and put them in higher places. Okay. Hmm. I now understand. Oh, maths. Yay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh God, I don't know. Brain's not working. And this is why you shouldn't take intelligence as a dump stack before playing a board game. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. um. folks and paying attention why don't you check out our just giving page for dementia uk you can just go into the just giving page search for eat crit and survive and you can find yourself uh onto that page where you can donate we're up to 85 pounds now i think plus gift aid which i think takes us just over 100 which is always nice yay i'm gonna have to go for six again because my brain is not working go for six all right mm -hmm. um and I'm going to put it in my con, which means that I can then tip one of the points up or down. So you're fine. You're not great. Um, I'm going to turn this one up to a four. Mm -hmm. Bet. All right. Don, what die would you like? Hey, hey. No, I don't get a card yet. I was no. getting ahead of myself. No, you definitely don't get a card yet. You're going last. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take initiative count one. Uh-huh, take him as red die. That red dice with the two on it, which I'm going to put in my intelligence slot. Mm -hmm. And just for the hell of it, I'm going to use the ability to re-roll it. Sure. And see what I get. You've got a statistically good chance of getting better. That's better. It is better. Yeah. And that actually takes you above 14, which is even better. Well, it takes you to 14, so you get a... Yeah. Uh, you also get a gold, because that has filled out that column, or that row. Ooh, nice. uh, a smart play. It was a... It was a very intelligent play. Uh, I will... Contemplate my lot in life. Uh, what's going to be best for me here? I'm going to be getting second regardless of what initiative I take, so I may as well take it. Then neither of the die particularly helps me, none of them particularly help my pattern either. So. Doesn't help pattern. That doesn't help pattern. I could do it there. I might as well put it in wisdom because that's got me five. Might get me to eleven. So it's not going to be great, but wisdom's kind of my dump stat anyway. Um. Hmm. Or I take it in constitution and I just put something. In. I could put a black in here, that puts my strength score is not where I'd like it to be to get some good points. I'm only getting a minus two anyway, so let me put it on 12, put me down to 10. Not really beneficial. Charisma's high, but it gets a plus two. Put it on 13, Charisma. Constitution. Sure, why not? Let's put it in Constitution. 
Uh, and I will buff. Buff. I'm gonna buff my my notebook. Um, I have to write down these numbers. That's fine. I'm gonna put up my strength to four. I think that's gonna help me up in the long term. You also get a gold. Hello, Matthew. Hello. Hello, internet. Chat, yeah. you know Matthew. Matthew, internet. Don't think we need to introduce you. No. I think we've met before. We have. Um, all right, so I am going to not do anything because it's not my turn. Uh, Dom, you are first player for purchasing, so. Yeah, uh, I'm going to uh, buy the Ancient Spear, which would normally cost me two, but thanks to my negotiating crossbow, uh -huh. it only costs me one. So the negotiating crossbow, so like my offer them all. Uh, and because I'm a powerful barbarian, I can use, even though I never quite take the three hands, I can use up to four hands. Yep. I am going to take, I'm going to play three gold, and I'm going to take Courageous. Which boots me up. I and when I'm scoring attribute goals at the end, I can do a plus two or Damn a you, minus two that one. to any single attribute score. So that's going to be useful for me in the long term. Uh, Laura, what would you like? <laughs> would you like to be foolish or would you like obnoxious? Mm. Or would you like to just get two gold? Mm. I feel like the three dice in the same row colour mm. is... It's doable with what you have at the moment. Hmm. Hmm. I don't feel like I'm going to look less than eight, but that might be doable. And oh. it also moves my. You just moved alignment. Dom's cube underneath it. Did I? No, my cube. Oh, you picked it up. You picked it up. Okay. Yeah, my cube is back on my board. That's fine. It just suddenly disappeared, and I didn't know where it got. <laughs> Um, or two gold. I mean, I can't really buy it all at the moment. Not three. And I, well, I can't buy it much because I don't have both. Um, so I'm just gonna just get rid of one because I okay. need two gold. And I get one for my mace. All right. So dice goes back in there. That goes in there. The cube of first player, and this goes over to Dom. And we get some new cards. We get a sleight of hand, a quarter staff, cure wounds, and weak. Mm. So sleight of hands, you can move uh, You can move your alignment slightly more chaotic. You can move one die on your character sheet to any empty space, and you slide dice to the left to fill any open spaces. Interesting. Uh, quarter staff, when you... Complete an attribute row, you gain two additional gold. Cure wounds, you slide your die up, or your cube up, and you can increase the face value of one die of your class color on your character sheet by one. And weak, you gain two reputation star if either your strength or constitution score is eight or below. Which is actually a very realistic option for me at the moment. Mm, no, mine's not. Oh, lordy. Um, Dom, could you set yourself out some dice, please, Mr. First Player? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Uh, two. A lot of purple dice have come out so yeah. far today. Funny because no one's purple. Nope. And a six. Hmm. So which die would you like first? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay. Time to contemplate my supposedly clever plan. Hmm. My evil plan. Hmm. No, I have a choice. Oh, where are you going to put your three? Your six, sorry. Oh, yeah. Take the dice, Dom. Take it. You're going to put your green six. I have a pretty good idea where you're going to put your green six. <laughs> I'm going to put it in my dexterity slot. What? Yeah, I know. It's shocking. I know. So I'll put you up to 13 dexterity. Yeah. Um, and you, can, you may swap two dice around. Yeah. You don't have to. You can keep them as they are. My supposed to be intelligent turn down revealed didn't reveal to be foolish because I decided I don't want to swap any. That's fine. I was thinking something and then it turned out to be a foolish thing to do. <laughs> hey, at least I got a good die. Yeah, did alright. Okay, I will. I'm going to do the. Today is a good day to die. It is. I'm going to take myself this blue five and the gold. I'm going to put my blue five here in my dexterity. I may also swap two dice around. Um, do I particularly want to? Do you know what? I might, just for the sake, I'm going to swap this four and that five. Because it makes absolutely no difference whatsoever. But if I put that up there, I've got a good chance, I've got a better chance of getting that strength bonus. So Laura, which would you like? Would you like the purple five and a gold, or would you like the purple two? Mm. Ah. Mm. Uh, I will go for the I will go for the purple five. Mm -hmm. Points well from the key very much. And put that there. But where do I want to put it? That is the question. Would you like to put that five? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Okay, let's put it in con. Okay. Take it to God. You need to do. To the God. No, the shiny. Ah, mouse. And I can that minus two. So hold on. So that is 11. That's going at 16 for your constitution. That's 16, so that's minus two, so that takes it to the four. So actually, if I bump one of these up... To a six, you get yourself a 15. I will be in the right one, yes. So <laughs> um, up to a six, please. Thank you. All right. Uh, and now we're into the item phase. And I have the first initiative. So I am going to pay two gold... And I'm going to choose to take weak. Because I've got a fairly good chance of getting my my constitution below an 8, given that it's a 5 at the moment. Uh, that will end my turn. Laura, what item would you like to purchase? Mm, what would I like to market? purchase? Side of hand, quarter staff, or cure wounds? Ah, 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 I lost my mouse. <laughs> oh, wait, what? It's too early for that. Um, you said you weren't even 
think about Christmas Move until. one die on your character sheet to any empty space. Slide dice to the left to fill any open spaces. I don't understand that second part. So if you have taken a die, for example, you have taken this die, Mm-hmm. And you have moved it to any uh, space here. Any open spaces you need to slide. Correct. Understood. Let me see what I want. What do you mean? <laughs> Increase the face value of one of your die. I thought it would die of your class colour. Okay. Or you can complete an after you gave two additional gold. Sure, for you is actually pretty good because you've got a lot of. No, I don't. I've got two. I'm only white. Yeah. Well, white. White does come out fairly. I mean, all of the class dice are equally, equally distributed in the bag, so. Yeah, doesn't, there's 70 dice there. Doesn't mean I'm going to get them. Eh, well. Oh my god, am I going to, I'm not really going to need gold by the end of it. Um, I'm going to get sleight of hand. Okay. One. No, let's just quickly look the card first. One, two, three. Whoop. Whoop. Ooh. Yep. And you may activate it whenever you wish. I will activate it. Thank you, yes, very much. Uh, what direction is it taking you to cause chaotic? I you cannot. Move. So you can't activate it's it. It's fine, because that's where I want to stay. You just want to have it. All right, Dom, what would you like? I'm going to activate it. You can't. No. No, you need to be able to move your cube. If it was a trait, then it doesn't matter. Oh, the skills do oh need to move right. It. Okay, I do did you, not realise that. Do you wish that. to change that based on your decision, or do you want to just keep it anyway? Oh. Okay. Um. Hmm. It's a new game for us, guys. It's a little while. I don't know. It's, I feel like Cure, Cure Wounds doesn't benefit me enough because I've got two. And I don't really... And then gain additional two gold. The thing is, my attribute... Like, my cleric thing is I can pay two gold to take my wisdom thing. So I could technically pay two gold, move that back, then do that, and then move that back. And then move a dice. You could. Long. That is that is a perfectly valid strategy. Again. I mean, actually. Alternatively, you could take that back, sell a card, get two gold, and then pay two gold to then move your alignment to cube. What? Well, if you didn't, if you chose not to take it, you would get two gold for selling any card in the market, which you could then use the two gold to use your cleric ability. Or if I pay two gold, move that back, activate that, that moves there. Move this dice up to here, I get a gold back. So I've only technically paid one. Uh, yes, you would. Is if you it filled the row. It? Is it worth it? I'm going to do it because why not? Okay. Pay two. Two. I'll pop those over here. Cool. You crack on. And then, so I move that back here. Bit. And then I do this. Mm-hmm. And I will rotate a bit, so and I move you back here a bit, and then I will move you up here a nice. bit, and I will get a gold back, please, and thank you. Off you go. You can go I'm back. going to get it! <laughs> uh, nice, that has got you that green in position there as well, which yep. is pretty handy. And I think the number I need as well, six add eight is fourteen. Nice. Yeah. Dom. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to take your wounds and only pay to you for it thanks to my negotiating crossbow. Yep. Okay, are you going to activate his ability or are you good as you are? Uh, I'm going to leave that as it is for the minute. Okay. Understood. So we come back to the market, everything goes away, quarter staff goes into the discard, the dice goes back in there, 
New cards come out. Leather gloves. The pickpocket ability. A jewel dagger. And greedy. Now the jeweled dagger, when you score your attribute guard, you add one to all gold dice. Uh, the leather gloves are part of your leather armor set. The pickpocket, you drop your die, you become a little bit more evil. And you decrease the face value of one die in your character sheet by one to gain two gold. Mm. Or greedy, you gain one reputation star for every four gold you have. For greed is not a financial issue, it's a heart issue. Uh, and I believe I am the first player. Which is why that green cube. No. Well, you were yeah, first player last time? Just me, Dom? Hold on. Can't have any dice we had. So we had seven. No, because Dom, you just, picked that, you just picked that green six, didn't you? You did, yes. It was just your turn. Uh, yeah, gotcha. Yes. So I think you put the wrong uh, cube out. I think you put the green one instead of yeah, the red one. There you go, Laura. There you go. There's your cube. Okay. Obviously, this means I have to reduce my intelligence dice. <laughs> Only in the real world. Only in the real world. Um, all right, let's see what we get. A five, a four, a one, and a two. Well, at least it's nice and easy to place out. Hmm. Oh, curses. Right, okay. So we get gold on that. Move that over here. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I am going to choose to take the purple one. I'm going to place it here in my strength, and I'm going to flip it over. And you get a gold. I like the gold for completing my thing. No, a gold. Un gold. Silly boy. Uh, Laura. Hello. Which die would you? Is it me? No, I found you, you were here. Oh, hello. <laughs> it is you whose turn it is. Okay, I'm just doing my maths. Um, so that one's okay, that one's okay, that one's okay. I really need to let's try and bump these guys up, so... Hmm. So you're done. Some real tactics going on here. Much guys. contemplation going on. And I've got a lot. Just enough while for anyone who is uh, watching this and thinking about these sorts of games, you can go and have a look on Role Player. Uh, sorry, Tabletop Role Player on Tabletopia. You can give it a go for yourself. There is a solo mode for it, which is uh, mostly the same. Only there's an extra die you have to roll for an NPC, effectively. <laughs> What would I benefit from doing one of the things? Do you have to do one of the, these if you do it? No. It's just a bonus. Yep. Okay. You do not have to do any of your dice actions. Okay. Um, I am going to... Let's take the yellow three, sure. Okay. I get a gold and I get another gold. You get two gold. Yay. Two gold? Two gold for a yellow dice. Oh, I thought it was just one gold. It's two. So I get three gold in total. Yep. And you get the third initiative count. Dom, which dice would you like? Whilst you're pondering that, Laura, where have you placed your dice? I'm going to put this up in my decks, which takes me to. That takes me to 11. Mm -hmm. Would you like to switch any of your dice? Around? I am. I'm going to switch these two around. Nice. So I can get my black in the right space. Nicely done. Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm. Dom, have you made a decision? Yeah, I think I need to take initiative count four. Mm -hmm. So it's a 
gold dice, which gains you two gold. Yes. Yep. Uh, I'm going to pop that in my con. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use it to increase itself by one. Okay, puts it on a six. Very nice. Okay, so I have first pick up loot. Yay, loot. And I am going to buy a jewel dagger. Oh, I'm surprised. But you do have a lot, you do have a fair few yellows. One, two, three. Well, what are you expecting me to get? Greedy. Eh, can't take it with you. Can't take it with you. So when I score the attribute goals, that adds one to all of my gold dice. Which means this is now a three, that's a six, and that is a five. That's only when scoring, though. Yeah, but for the sake of going through yeah. at the moment. Um, Laura, you are next on the initiative. Anything. I'm just going to discard this one and take two gold. Okay. That was two. That was two. I picked. That was two. I picked. Okay. Yeah. Dom, which of the items would you like? Okay. I think I've spotted something slightly sneaky I can do here. Mm. <gasps> so, sneaky. So I'm going to pay one gold for the pickpocket ability. Yes. So if I understand it correctly, I yep. could use the Stop moving his things. Okay, I could use my pickpocket ability to reduce reduce the value of a die by one and gain two gold. Correct. And then use cure wounds to put that dice back. Yes, you could. <laughs> but at the end of your turn, you can only switch what you only re reset one of your skills. Just as an FYI. Yeah, so I'm going to leave, the leave, leave my cure wounds twiddled. It doesn't matter which die I say I'm, you, I'm fiddling with. It's just one of your red dice, because it has to be one of your class dice. Okay, so basically I've just gained two gold. Pretty much, yeah. That is sneaky. I approve. Very sneak. Very sneak. Possibly it's cunning to go with my cunning. Mm -hmm. It is cunning. Alright, so greedy goes away. This blue two goes back into the bag. Uh, both of you get your cubes back. There's Yay, yours. thank you. And uh, that gets a thing. We get chain van braces, the search action, the proud trait, and leather pauldrons. Pauldrons. So, so the chain van braces are part of the chain set. The search action that you uh, each search the dice bag and exchange one die on your character sheet with a new die of the same face value. Ooh, okay. Proud gives you two points, and the leather pauldrons are part of the purple or black sets. Hmm. So, Laura, green cube of first play, and this goes to you. Oof, what do I want? What would right, let's you roll these. like? Oh, actually, you discarded a card, didn't you? So I got, I got a coin for that. Yes. So I forgot about that. Ooh, got some high rollers here today, boys. Mm. Four, five, and six. 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 Hmm. Mm. 
Pleases ye. It may. Oops, that's the wrong character sheet. Where are you putting your red five? Hmm, where am I going to put my red five? Um, I will. Not right now. Um, charisma. Let's whack it in charisma because okay. well, actually, mm, no. I'm going to put it up here so it completes my okay. deck. So you get a gold. Yep. And you get to switch two dice around. Which I don't really fancy doing. No? Um, let me get a gold. Hold on. So I'm not behind. Um... Well, there's not many in the colours that I need to move around because I've got pretty much all of them. Um, the one you don't have. There's two you don't have, I should say. Yeah. Oh, I can switch that on that round. <gasps> I'm going to switch that on that round. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Smashing. Very good, very good. All right. Is that you done? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sir Dom. Yeah? Yes. Yes. What would you like? Uh, different dice. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> None of your abilities let you change any of your dice, I'm afraid. Interesting, Baldrick. I, sir, have a cunning plan. Is it as cunning as a fox who has just graduate, graduated from Oxford University with a degree in cunning? No. No. <laughs> what does he usually say? Almost, sir. Uh, something. Oh. It, it depends on. It depends yeah, on. it's usually. It's not like no or yes. It's like very close, sir. <laughs> yeah, what are you thinking, Dom? Okay. Talk us through your thinkings. I'm going to... I'm going to take position number two. Okay. Uh, so, not only do I gain that gold off there, I gain an extra gold for my spear here. Uh, you do, because you are completing a... Nashtu oh. card with a gold upon it. No, I, I gain a gold for the spear as well, so I get a two gold. Yes, because you're because yeah, you're yeah, because yeah, you're yeah, taking yeah, 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 gold with yeah. it. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. My no, it's friend, fine. My friend was mapping. <laughs> That's fine. Where are you going to place it? Okay. Bye. Bye. 
I am going to place a blue ball into Charisma. Okay, and you get yourself a nice little discount token. And it is my turn, yes? Alright, I am going to go very straightforward, green two. I'm going to play oh, the green two, place that into my constitution, which is always a benefit. Um, so that fills out that slot, so I get a gold. Then I get to buff one of my stats. What's going to be best for me to increase? Probably this. Uh, five, because that gives me a little bit more flexibility on what dice I can get here in my intelligence. Um, then it is me first to purchase. I'm going to buy the search trait for four gold. So one, two, three, and four for search, and I'm going to use its ability straight away. Turn that to degrees, move my uh, alignment slightly. I'm going to swap out this purple six, and I'm going to try and find a black die. That's blue. Oh, what, a black one? Yep. Okay. There it is. Let's pop it back in the bag. <laughs> so let's put it back in as a black six. Gets me that there, which gives me one, two, three, four, me, well, one, two, three, four, five. No, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, I'm just missing the white there, um, which is not the worst thing in the world. Um, so what's that giving me intelligence now? Okay, um, that is my turn. Uh, Dom, you are next in the purchasing. No, that's me. Yep. Nope. Oh, you were first. I went first. Mm. Okay. Although that blue six would have been good for me, I decided to go to that black one better. I am going to buy the power to take, which would cost five. Uh -huh. I'm going to prism it down to four, cost put it down to three, and yep. then take three gold. Alright. Probably I'm not too proud to threaten someone. <laughs> to, 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 the to get a discount. So, that is immediately going to move my alignment one towards evil. Evil. For pride is an evil trait. And the dude is very obviously evil. Oh god, yes. He's, he is more obviously evil than the guy that you came across in uh, Alfheim that you just went, oh, he's a villain. Yeah, you know, he's got the, the beard is evil, evil eyebrows, a skull pendant, and he's holding a glowing orb. He could not be more evil if he, if Yeah. He oh, wait, no, he's got liver spots. He's definitely evil. <laughs> he's an old white guy, he's evil. <laughs> he, he, needs, he needs a British accent, of course, to be popular. Oh, of course! Oh, no, I'm, I'm either, he's either got a British accent or he's Mark Strong. Both. Because Mark Strong has, could, pulls off evil very well. Yeah. Because it's Mark yeah. Strong. Doesn't, does, can actually do both. Yeah. Can do anything he wants to. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. <laughs> Laura, what would you like to do? Um, Are you going to guess you're going to buy the chain band braces? Yeah, admittedly it wasn't actually going to be my first choice. What, was it going to be the leather portions or the search? It was going to be proud. Hmm. Ugh, you two, worrying about I your know, points. but it's fine. So that's three. Because like, if I'd have done that, it would have got me more points in the long run. Hmm, that's true. But... Alrighty. So we regather our cubes of cubing. Yep. Sorry. My I can cubing. reset my cure wounds at the end of the turn. You may, and I will reset my own ability in a second. So we have, uh, we're getting close to the bottom of this stack now. We've got 16 cards left. We yeah, have, that's fine. You could just re put the disc. Oh, yeah, you just reshuffle them. Uh, diplomacy, 
Pay one gold to another player to use their skill card. Move the tracking token to, on your alignment card as shown on the target card. Focused, you get two stars for each attribute row with three dice of the same face value. Knowledge, you can increase or decrease the face value of a die on your character sheet by one or two. And then famous, during final scoring, you double the effect of your alignment cards. Double the effect, so you just double the stars? Yep. Uh, very good or very bad if you've gone wrong. Yes, which I believe, Dom, you are now the first player. Okay, let's get out the four dice and give them a roll. I'm just going to rotate my search back to where it should be. That part is easy to set out. We did. Um, you know what? I think I will take initiative count four. Okay. So hang on, so that is 12, so I'm going to 5. Alright, I'm going to take the green 5. So I get a gold. No, oh, did you forget to put one on? We didn't put one on that one either, did we? Actually. On um, 2, sorry. Uh, I thought I did, okay. It wasn't on there, it's fine. Uh, where have you placed your die, sorry? Oh yeah. Uh, I'm going to place that in Charisma. Nice, you got another discount token. A gold for finishing the row. Mm hmm. That works out pretty well for you. Alright, me, I'm taking that green five and I'm going to place it in my intelligence, which gets me a coin for completing the row. I'm then going to use my search ability to switch out that green die and replace it with a white. mind picking those up since you can get multiple. Yep. Thank you. So I set this one to five. Just check I haven't picked anything else yet. There we go. Thank you. And which of the two remaining die would you like? Um. I'm also slightly frustrated that my uh, items haven't come out that I needed. Never mind. I don't think there's many mystic ones. There's only there's only three, three but yeah. yeah, they haven't come out. Neither of the other two have come out yet. Hmm. Oh, sorry, I forgot to move my cube. That actually, should be there. If it's got the little uh, arrow up there, do you have to be able to move your? No, you don't have to be able to move it. Um. really matter because you guys are in behind me anyway so I'll go for number two All right. and take the coin and the black three and I will just pop it on my charisma because charisma yo who needs who needs charisma but so um I get a little token this is like my first token of the game yeah it is so that means I get something for less 
Yes, so when you put it in, you get one fewer. Nice. You get hit plus one fewer. Mm -hmm. So now it's me to go? Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. So where did you put this? I think it actually goes into the charisma. charisma. Yeah. Right. Uh, so what are you buying from the market? So um, I'm just spamming our own chat with uh, various links if you want to follow them. What are you going for? Um, I am going to go for the diplomacy. I feel like it's a bit late in the game. I don't know. Diplomacy is good to have. Because it, it's better to have now in when people have got skill cards out. If you have it early on, it's kind of limited. True. It does mean you could use my search ability. Hmm. Sure, I have to spend all that time just trying to look for white dice. Or... that up and possibly get more points. Is it just one extra point per white dice? Or uh, character kind you of one, dice? one point per character die, yes. And I can do that... As long as you're able to move yourself to the left. No. There's no movement for this one. No, but it's the movement. It uses the movement that's on my on the card that you take. Oh right. So as long as you're able to move to the left, which is a, with your cleric ability, you can always move. You can always move yourself back to the right. Yeah, but that's three coins then, just to get a dice. That's true. I'm, I'm just... gonna no. I'm gonna use my thing, and I'm gonna get famous. Okay, so that costs you five Two, gold. Three, four, five. Where's it going? Uh, it goes at the bottom. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, no, I just lost it. There we go. Hmm. Thinking brain thinking. Thinking brain thinking. Sorted that could probably do with being higher. I'm going to spend three and buy knowledge. Let's buy some knowledge. Three. Tom, which would you like? Well, I, I think I'm going to use my. Diplomacy crossbow to buy diplomacy for four. <laughs> Make charisma <laughs> down to three. You, really? That, yeah, that, you're using that intimidation trait to get you uh, sorted. No, oh, no I've, got, I've got intimidation. Yeah, diplomacy. It's, the, it's diplomacy. Of course. Diplomacy crossbow. It's, the, yeah, it's negotiation. You know, you give me this stupid price and I won't shoot with my crossbow. Yeah, that's fair. That is fair. Um, all right. It's on this negotiation. Thus ends the negotiation. All right, so we switch everything back as we go. We have a chain tunic, a chain gorget, oh, leather greaves, and obsessed. Mm. He gets one additional star for every two dice of your class color. And I am now the first player. Uh, I reset my search trait back to normal. That's upside down. Oop. All right, uh, we have a black three, a white four, a red two, and a yellow five, which Ooh, are about okay. to be which are about to be rerolled. What's wrong? Uh, no, no, it's fine. <laughs> what happened? Uh, I was thinking I should have used my jaw wound ability at the end of my turn, and then I could have reset it. 
Do you want to do it now as we're setting up? If that's okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's fine. fine. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna... It doesn't affect anything. That third report, excellent five. Um, but also put my alignment back to neutral. I am gonna use my intimidate ability now to re-roll these dice. I'm just going to rotate it like that. I'm going to re-roll this red. Oops. This gold. And this white. I'm going to keep the black the same. Okay, that hasn't actually really done anything, but never mind. It has done what I need it to. So, uh, I need to do some number crunching, mental, arithmetic, help. Uh, mm -hmm. That's why I wrote it down. Yeah, I know, right? Um, let's see. So that is currently a 10. I need to do a 17, but I can add 2 because of my courageous. If I take that, that becomes a 4. So that becomes 14 plus 2 is 16. Oh, it's cute. But I get a lot of gold for it. Hmm. But it's all, it goes into decks, which means I could swap it around. Okay. I think the tactical thing here is to go here, get myself a three gold, put it into wisdom, which lets me move my thing to the left by one. I get a gold for taking the two, I get two gold for taking a gold die, and I get one gold for filling that row. Good as me. That sets me up pretty nicely for the next turn. Uh, then, I can, oh my god, I just need to do quick maths again. I'm gonna use my search ability. Rotate that 90 degrees to turn this green into a blue. Gosh, they're all greens in here. Blue, please. There it is. Laura, would you mind? Yep. Thank you. I mean, yes, I would mind. No. TD. You do it anyway. I don't mind. And then finally, I will use my knowledge ability, stacking these abilities, to increase one of my die by two. Don't forget you need to move your alignment card, Cube. Oh, well, yes, back it moves two across this way. Um, so I am going to choose, we've only got two turns left, so that's fine. I can intimidate myself to go back there, but that's all right. Uh, I'm gonna choose to put up my charisma. Uh, hang on, what have I got here? So that's five, nine, twelve. I'm going to put my put this wisdom up by. Uh, no, I'm going to put this up by two. This is arguably better to put up for the moment. Puts that up to six. I think. Who is it? No, wait. Ah! Contemplation and numbers. Yay! I don't need to get 17 here. Now I'm going to put this up by one. That's your six. Okay, my turn is done. Me? Yes. I'm just going to go for. Mm -hmm. this Sorry, I'm just going to swap this around. That's fine. I'm going to put it in my 
intelligence. Mm -hmm. So I get a gold coin. And I can re-roll it, so I might as well just re-roll yeah. that one. So as well, see what you get. That is exactly what I needed to make that row. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Nice. All right, anything else you want to do whilst you're here? Um, or both the door. Can't move that. Can't do that. Um, Wherever the dorm it is then? Yeah. Dom, what would you like to do? Would you like the black six or the white five? Hmm. I pride myself on asking good questions. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Oh, excuse me. Uh-huh, so you get a bonus two. Yep. Yeah. Bonus two. Yeah. Uh, no, sorry, no, Just bonus one. one. You're right, sorry. Yeah. My fault. Uh, and then I'm going to swap that with the four that was in my charisma. Okay. Because that's going to leave... I'll put your charisma to 15. in the target range. And with my racial bonus, it's going to... Leave my decks at 17, which is the target there. Nice. Oops. Actually, saying uh, that. Ooh. And I am also going to use my draw. Draw wins pickpocket to gain two gold? Nope, I'm going to. It's one of your character dice, so it has to be one of your reds. Uh, it has to be one of my character dice. Yes. Okay. I keep your things. Uh, just kicking things. I may have messed up there. Yeah, I'm going to sit on that for the minute. Okay. I've got only, only character dice. May I please ask a question? Yes. When 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 your attributes is fourteen plus, does that mean it has to be fifteen, or can it be fourteen? No, fourteen or more. Oh thank God. <laughs> Good. Uh, Laura, you are the first purchaser. Oh, I wonder what I'm going to get. Well, I mean, it's a difficult decision. Do you want the tunic or do you want the gorget I that think shows the off? The tunic's going to get me as much as the gorget is fancy, like I think. This is going to be... It's very... You know what? No, I'm, go I'm going for a fancy neck piece. Go for the gorget? Why not? It's unfortunate when two pieces of the same set come out together. Um, however, you do have a saving grace. There is an item in there that replaces any of your equipment. Um, which could be. There is an item in the deck that can replace any equipment. Oh, fancy. Just hand it. Uh, I am going to discard the chain tunic. Which gives me <laughs> two gold. And it also... Now, the Blessed Mace, it says when any player discards. I'm assuming that includes me. Yeah. That's how you've been playing it previously in the game. You've done that before. Have I? I haven't, dis I haven't yeah. discarded anything so far. Yes, you have. Have I? Yeah, right. you did it earlier. Ah, I do. But yes. Know. It's not my bad. Okay. I gain an extra gold. I'm just stacking up gold ready for next turn. Don, what would you like to do? Uh... Would you like Obsessed or would you like Leather Green? Or would I like to sell them stuff for gold? Or would you like stuff for gold? I'm just have a look at my own stuff for a minute whilst I think. Uh... 
Okay. Yep. It's worth getting a point, isn't it? Skill would you like to be using? Sorry. No, sorry. What skill will he use and will it win him back the trophy? No idea. We'll find out. We'll find another. out after this commercial break. We've got two more turns to go, so we'll find out after that. Mm -hmm. um, all I know is I am done being first player. I've had enough of that. I don't want it anymore. Don't want the responsibility. I am just going to use diplomacy. Yep. Pay Luca gold. Yes. Use his knowledge. Yep. My purple corn die up to a six. Nice. Very good, very good. These, these were a chance of guessing that's on the final turn. But it does mean that you have to move, you do have to move your uh, cube to the left. That's fine. Yep, that's fine. Just want to make sure you knew that that's where you left. So. Uh, and that brings us back to here. So, we'll pop that away. And get another little cube. And we get our last items. Oh, the tower shield, the mystic, mystic. robes. Clumsy and the longbow. Ooh. Ooh. The longbow is good. The tower shield is very good. Yes. So tower shield, it counts as an additional armor card for one incomplete set when scoring armor cards. Yeah. Uh, you've got the mystic robes, which are part of the mystic set. You've got the clumsy trait, which you gain two stars for either your dexterity or charisma is less than eight, eight or less. And the longbow, after placing a die in the final row of an attribute space, you may take the attribute action an additional mm, time. Now, I am going to reset my intimidate action, or my intimidate ability. Uh, Laura is the first player. I get to reset diplomacy to it. You do. Let's roll some dice. Let's roll the dice out again. Mm. Oops, David. <coughs> Always do that. That's a good roll. That's a good set of rolls. Good load of sixes. Mm. Now, mm, I was thinking, what would I like to go for? Hmm. I, mean, I think it's fairly obvious what item Laura's going to go for, which is whether she gets to go first in initiative. Yeah. And can she afford the tower shield? Although actually that said, you have to place it in charisma, don't you? So you get a bonus, so you'll be able to buy it anyway. No, because I've got two. Won't be. Oh no, I can't afford it. Unless I dis. No. no you can, because you'll get a discount token. Oh, I will! <laughs> oh yeah! So that's fine. Um, oh no, jeez. You won't have any money going for the last round. That's fine. Okay. I think that works for what I want to do. I think I know what you want to do as well, but... Shh. Shh. Put the white one instead of the green. What? You put the white cube instead of the green. Otherwise we'll lose it. We'll forget. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's okay. In the physical game, you pass the, di the dice bag around to indicate who the first player is. It's a little harder on, on Tabletopia, which is why we're using the, the green. Yeah, suppose bag. it's not a first player. Um, token. Yeah. Yeah, they usually, they usually All yes. games have first player token nowadays. Um, so you have placed that in your charisma row. So I got a token. Which gave you a yeah. token of discounting. Dom, mm -hmm. what would you like to do? Or which dice would you like to take? Uh, I will take dice number three, please. Ah, uh, damn you. <laughs> um, so I will have that. Mm -hmm. I put it in my combo. Ooh, that's a uh, decent. That's a tanky, tanky dot area. Uh, okay. Of all the hit points. Tanky frog barbarian. I mean, 
That needs to be a character for one shot. I'll use my con bonus to put that black two up to a three. Nice. Um, I'd also gain two coins. One for. Oh, oh again. Four coins. Three coins? Is that you get four. Because you get one for completing the row, you get two for the dice. Oh, you get five coins. Even better. What? How? Oh, no, it's a, green, it's a green dice, sorry. I was looking at the four directly above it. I'm tired. Um, so yeah, get you, get your, you get your two... The card. One off the card, one for your spear, spear, one for completing your row. Yeah. Alright, are you doing anything else with any of your cards whilst you are here, or are you going to wait until you've bought stuff? I'm going to wait until after I've bought stuff. Understood. And then I am also going to take a green six. Just means I don't get any money to go with it. So I am going to pop that green six in here in dexterity, which means I may swap two dice around. Uh, so I get a gold for completing the row. Mm -hmm. Um. It doesn't really matter if I swap them around. It really makes no odds whatsoever. So, uh, I may as well not bother swapping dice around. So I'm not going to. Eep. Eep. It's fine. All right. Uh, Laura, you are the first purchaser. Hello. Hi. I'm gonna go for this. Are you? Really? All right, that uses all of your money, but does Get you ten points. <laughs> yeah. For the set. Wow. Yeah, this this might be a problem. And unfortunately there was absolutely nothing we could do about it. I like collecting things. Other than buying the items I think. You do like a set collection game I sometimes. Love it. It's so just awesome. Oh, it's very satisfying. It is very Even satisfying. though it's technically not the thing. I'm getting the points. You know what? If it comes up in the next one, I'm gonna. I don't. There's no other. Kick a bitch. Chain cards. Well, no, there must be because there's five. There's, there must be. Yeah, five but it, it came up already. Oh yeah. Oh, that's fine then. That makes me happy. We apologise for the accidental use of language. I'm sorry. It's <laughs> past watershed. Family friendly stream. That's fine. Sorry. Uh, Dom. Yeah. Um. I think I'm just going to be a bit mean, I'm afraid. Oh! <laughs> do it! Do it! Do it! I'm going to sell the Mystic Grove so we can gain two coins. <laughs> I get one. Um, but one of those coins may be coming your way in the not. Oh, that makes me feel better. Not too distant future. We, we shall see. I'm going to hold off on it for the moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We've got one more turn, haven't we? We do, yes. One more. One last turn. I just about to do that as well. <laughs> Gonna celebrate my turn, oh yeah. As I'll be dancing now. So, while you're pondering, I'm gonna take a quick move, mate. Right? That's no fine. Now, chat, here is, the, here is the thought inside my head at this point. Uh, we apologize for the image that you now have, which is basically just above my shoulder. Uh, <laughs> because Thomas switched the camera off. It's fine. Um, it's good holding you. There you go, there's yeah. Laura's arm. Uh, um, there is Laura's arm. Let's see who, who has joined us in the chat, if anyone. No one. No one in particular. But hi, anyone who's in there. Say hi. Um, now, here's the strategy. I could buy Clumsy, and by buying Clumsy, I could move my icon to the right which gets me in place for that, which then means in future turn, on my last turn, I can move it again with the Intimidate, and I could use the Knowledge or the Search 
to get myself a decent dye color that gives me an extra point towards the end. I could sell it and get three gold. Uh, but to be honest, I have a lot of money anyway. So I may as well buy it and use its ability to sort of gain the system a little bit. So I'm going to spend two gold. Gain the system. Because I might as well, because I can't take it with me. I really should have bought that green card earlier. That's what, Generally, that's what I thought you were going to do. No, I, I didn't think about it. I think I had better options at the time. But anyway, uh, so I'm going to buy Clumsy, which means I get to move my initiative counter a little bit more towards Chaotic, which is all good. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm probably not going to get the two bonus points for uh, that particular attribute. Hey, I'm not clumsy, I'm just accident prone. Uh, and that brings us to the end of that round. So the longbow goes away. That red die goes back in there. Point yeah. off here. Dom becomes the first player. First and last. First and last player. That's the last first player. And I need to contemplate what's going to be better for me in the long run. So... You're blue. There's your cube. Thank you. No worries. Hmm. Do we put the cards out now? No. I'm gonna uh, wait. I'm going to wait a second. Wait yep. for Dom to come back it's in. Hello. Uh, I bought. I bought clumsy. Just as an FYI. And we have come to the end of the round. I am just contemplating which of my things I want to turn Perfect. up. So let me see. So that's at. That's at fifteen already. <laughs> That's a 17. That is at 8. So that's at 15. No, it isn't. That's at 17. Actually, I'm that's 16. No, it's at 17. For the purposes of this, I'm doing it with the dual damage. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Dom. I'm use, I've decided I'm going to use an ability. Okay. <gasps> I'm, I'm going to use diplomacy. Okay. Because I'm going to give you a coin. Use search. Oh no, hang on. Okay. I'm going to undo knowledge. Knowledge. Yeah, on the basis that I might that might save me in the long run. Can I put cards out now? You may do. Don, would you like to grab the dice? So we have the Mystic Cowl, which is another part of the uh, Mystic set. The Steadfast, which is two for each weapon you have. Concentrate, which lets you take any attribute action. And Honourable, which is just a straight three points. Oh, that's a poor roll. That is abysmal. Yeah. Mm. Not what happens when you let me roll dice. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh I've stopped the dancing. I'm not going to put sarcastic answers to that question. I'm not going to put sarcastic answers to that question. I think I, I think I should get I should show you at some point we should play Sagrada. It's dice placement like this, um, but it's for making stained glass windows. Oh, I think I've seen it. Yeah, it's very yeah. it's very pretty. Ooh, I like it. Do you have music in your head? Stuck it in my head.
Dom has entered contemplation rage. by not by forgetting to do something and it's left it for this now and mm. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do all my goal because of the pain. Yeah I have I have too much gold. <laughs> I've like nine gold that's not doing anything. Oh no I'm not doing I can do that. Yeah if I say Okay, I think. There we go. I'm taking initiative count four. Okay, where are you putting your dice? Well, so you have only one choice, yes. Does. And gets you a gold. And gold. Now, do I want to move my alignment or. Yes, this does. Literally no downside to this one. I'm going to move my alignment towards Chaos Deck. Okay. Uh, I have a decision to make, so let me mm. see. That's not quite enough, but I can buff it. The Courageous. Ton of gold right at the end. Or I'm going to use my intimidate ability. So I'm going to re I get to move myself a little bit more towards chaos, and I get to re-roll these dice before I pick them up. Purple six, green four, gold six. Do you move the dice once they've been... They get re uh, Yeah, I reorder them. Into the spaces that haven't been claimed? Yes. Right. So I'm going to swap this gold six for this purple six and put that there, and then I'm going to take initiative two. Oh, can you read? Because um... that worked out really well for me. So that effectively becomes a seven because of my jeweled dagger, so I get two gold as a bonus for taking that, plus I get an extra gold for filling the row, that's one too many. And I have the gold on top of it, so hang on. And I get a charisma token, which goes there. So I now have on here seven, well, 11, no, 15, which is not quite enough. Uh, but I might be able to do something about that. What's this at the moment? Uh, Laura, what would you like to do? Just whilst I think. Don't really matter what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to go first. Okay. Put you there. We get a coin. Yay. All right. Uh, what would you like to purchase? I'm not. I'm going to... Oh, I'm going to discard this one. Yeah. That's fair, that's a good shout. You get two gold? Yeah. Okay. Are you going to do anything else before you I don't, turn? like my charisma thing can't, can only be used when purchasing these, can't it? Correct. There's no point in me taking it because I can't okay. get anything. Um, but I will pay two gold to move my alignment block. I did wonder when you were going to do that. Yep. 
Yeah. That's Dom's card. Two. Shit. Bit. So that is your finished character. Yay! Yeah, boy! Alright, me. Ha. Huh. Okay, so. Here's the thing, chat. <laughs> I currently have myself... I've got a plus two on this as well. Oh, that's even better. Oh, that's even better, because that's 10, that's 15, plus two, that's 17. That's maxed out. Perfect. This is effectively 5, 9, 12. I'll use my knowledge to increase it, increase the diet, increase the red, because it doesn't matter, by two. Which puts that on to 10. That puts that on to 14, which is great. It's only this one that doesn't fit that, but that's okay. And then I am... Um, mm, ooh, now. Now, here's the thing. Here's I the thing, chat. I could buy the Mystic Cow. And it would get me an extra... Th it would get me two points, effectively, up from where I am. Plus your plus because you blue. Well, it's it's one for the set. It's not one for each card. So it's effectively only uh, going to get me. It's only going to get me two points. I understand. Whereas I could buy honourable, and would get three points. Mm -hmm. And that seems marginally better, to me. Yes. So I am going to do that. I'm going to spend well one charisma token. Put that there, and one, two, oops, three, four, five, and six to get myself that trait of honourable. And it would move my alignment up, but it cannot go any more up, so it is going to sit there. And that is the end of my turn, and indeed the end of my game. There is my completed character sheet. Dom, what would you like to do on your final turn? Uh, well, each of those types games are possibly the same, and games are the same number of points. So, do they? Does the concentration does concentrate give you points? It allows you to do something too. It gets me one point from cunning. Oh, of course, because it's the number of skills you have, isn't it? Yeah, well, first it's cow would just every one point for having a cool hood. Hmm. I mean. Uh, so I think. Oh, that's the point. I don't know how well a hood would fit over my big body eyes. That's so true. I will concentrate. Okay. To three gold to concentrate. Um, and before we go to the end of the game, I'm going to cure wounds and put my red dice in into it from a four to a five. Mm -hmm. And more importantly, put my line back to where I want it. Yay. All right. And that is the end of the game. So, as we have ended that, uh, I'm going to come back to this big screen view and see the chaos that has been set out. Mm -hmm. We can flip over our little play sequence card, and there is a score track on black. Yours is up here, Laura. Still I don't got one. Uh, Dom should have one. Oh, you've got it over to yeah. your... You've got it over there to your ah. So we now take our scoring cube, our, our cube going around, and that then becomes part of our scoring. I don't want to spit There it is. So, uh, chat, you're going to watch me do my scoring, uh, whilst these two get on with their own stuff. So, first of all, we score our attribute goals. Um, you know what? We might as well talk, talk these through. Um, should we start with me, since so I that, would be the yeah. next start player? Yeah, go for it. All right. So, I... We start with our attributes. So I have, I needed a 14 or 15 in strength to get two starts. I have got uh, 15 because I've got six, six, five, and a minus two. So that gets me two starts. I'm gonna lock the card in place because I know I'm just gonna pick it up by mistake. Uh, 
Um, my dexterity needed to be a 17. I have got exactly a 17 in there, so that gives me another three victory, uh, three stars, reputation stars. My constitution is an eight, which does not score me anything. My intelligence is uh, a 17, because my dual dagger adds one to my gold dice. So that becomes effectively six, six, and a five. So that gives me another three. Uh, my wisdom is five, ten, fourteen. So that gives me another one. And my charisma is uh, six. Well, yeah, uh, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Which is unfortunate. No, oh yeah, because you get your plus. nineteen. You get a plus one to that. Uh, so I'm going to use my courageous to reduce this by two, <laughs> so that it actually comes down to seventeen, which gets me two reputation stars. Yeah. Yeah, my math right on that one. Sixteen. That's ten. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Was it seventeen? Seventeen. Oh, in which case I won't bother using the courageous thing. Um, yeah. 17, unless you've got anything else which adds on the 17. one. Uh, no, it doesn't. No. No, I got it wrong. Okay, uh, that is my attributes. Then we have the class colour dice. You get a bonus point for each of your class colour. Mine is blue. I only have two of those, so I get two points. Then we have the alignment card. I have ended on the three, so I get three points for that. One, two, three... Uh, then we move on to the backstory card, which for me is the Patrician. I come from a distinguished family. Material things have never been your concern. Life in your stronghold bores you, so you've decided to seek adventure. Mm. So for that, I needed a black dye up here, a blue here, a green here, a white here, a red here, and a purple here, which I have done. So I get six points for that, which puts me on 22. Uh, and then we have our armor cards. I get one for my Mystic Cloak, and I get a bonus one because it is worn by a blue class, so I get two. Uh, no, you said that that's the set. You don't have the set. No, you don't need the full set. No, no, you said that to me a minute ago. Yeah, if the set is if it's worn by a blue class, yeah. sorry. When I said it was for the, when I said it was for the set, I mean it's for the entire for each card. You don't get a plus one for each card. Right, okay, that did not come across as what you said. You said to get that bonus point, you need the whole set. No, I didn't. I said, I said it was a bonus that's point. That's how we took it. Oh, my, my apologies, that was not how it was intended. I can change, I can drop that bonus point if that was misunderstood. No, no, I just can't remember what my choice would have... I can't even remember if it's my choice or Dom's choice, but or something regarding it. Um, I don't think it matters. I, uh, by that, by the point that I bought the next thing, it was only for me because you'd already got all of your cards anyway. Yeah, I know, but I just can't remember why. But yes, anyway, that's that's what it came across. Asterisk on the win if I win, which I don't think I will. I think I'm screwed. Uh, and then we go on to our trait cards. So I get three for being honourable. That's ironic. Um, I get. Two, if either my dexterity or charisma is eight or less, which it isn't, I do get two for my constitution being uh, eight or less, and then I don't get anything for being courageous. That just allowed me to potentially score something else. So I end on a somewhat reasonable 29 points. So what, does that mean I get a bonus four on my set? On no, my armor? no, it's, what, it's one for having that set. It's not one per card. But Fairly certain, anyway. You either have to have the full set, or you have... Uh, here we go. So if a cleric uh, has four pieces of chain armour, they receive eight reputation stars, seven as indicated on the armour, plus one reputation star awarded for the set as a class bonus. Okay, so if you've got any of the votes... If you've got any of the Voights type of armour, you mm. get plus one. Yes. No I pro how many bits of it you have. Correct. I think I just phrased it badly when I said it earlier. Because it, no, the bonus is earned per set, not per card. Yes, that's what I said. Right. It doesn't have to be the full set. Doesn't have to be the full set. Just oh, need to have. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
So, Laura, would you like to go through your score? Okay. I think Laura may have won as well. No, she... I don't think so. Yeah. You both racked up a fair bit. Right, so... Actually, goals. Okay. So I'm going to put this up on the screen so everyone can see it. Right. So, I've managed to get... What did I get on that? I got 14, 6, 11. Yeah, 14 on that, so I get 2. Mm -hmm. I got 14 plus 2, so I got 16 on that, so I get 2 more. Nice. I've got... Uh, that was... That's a 15. 17, yeah, minus a 2 is a 15, so I get 2 more. Nice. That's a... That was a six. It's 14. That is 14. So, one more. And then, so glad I've got 18. Yeah, right. I'm right. Far from the off. So, that's four. One, two, three, four. And the last one is. No, didn't, didn't get that anywhere. <laughs> no. Nope. Uh, okay. Uh, then you have your class colour dice. So, I've only got three. So, one. You say two, only, I've got three. two. Yeah, still. Uh, then you have your alignment. Your alignment card is over here. I don't know why I put it. Yeah, so I'm on a three, but my famous card means that I get to double the effect of that. You do. So I get six. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah, I've lost. <laughs> famously chaotic evil. Famously chaotic. I am a Could lunatic. You are a lunatic. Yeah. That is not someone you want healing you, is it? Um, That's the lunatic. <laughs> yeah, lunatic cleric. Um, backstory card. Yep, so that which one. is your resilience. So I only miss one again. So I've got the green, I've got the white, I've got the black, I've got the purple, I've got the blue, but I did not get the red, so I only okay. get three points. Resilience. A deadly plague has decimated your village and left no survivors, except for you. You strike out on your own, looking for solace and a new home. That fits for a lunatic's backstory, a lunatic yeah, cleric's you, backstory you so well. Play. Am I, on, am I on 23? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that fits a lunatic cleric's backstory so well. Either they were the last person behind and everyone just kept dying, um, so they were driven insane by not being able to cure everyone, or they were the one that brought the play because they couldn't control it. You could write such an interesting backstory for that character. Yes. Um, and then... And then you get 10 points armor for your armour. <laughs> and 10 points smashing, so 33. Yep. And is that it? Yeah, you would you would score the uh, trade card, but you've already done that for your famous. Ah, uh, cool. Um, so you are on 33, so you have beaten me. Uh, I got 29, <gasps> just a reminder, viewers. Uh, Dom. Dom. Can you right. ruin... Laura's smile. Hey! This would be my first online game that I've won. It, this does happen when Laura and I play games for the first time. She usually wins. I win the first time. And then never and again. Never win again. <laughs> okay, right, come so on, Dom. Attribute. Yes. I think I need between a 16... I need a 16 or a 17. I have 18 minus, minus two. 2 for my race. Uh -huh. Down to 16. So I get 2 points for that. Mm -hmm. uh, dexterity, I need 17. I have 15 on the dice, plus 2. So mm -hmm. that's success and it gets me another 3. Nice. Five. Constitution needs 18 or more. I just have 18. Mm -hmm. Yep. 3 more. Uh, intelligence, 14 or more. Somehow I've got 15. I'm a very smart barbarian. Sure. Uh, wisdom, 14 to 15. I have just got 14. Plus 6 is 14. Yep. So, few more. Uh, and charisma, 14 or more. I've got... Now, I, I have to say, nice. if I was your dungeon master and you rocked up with this character sheet, I would be looking at you very questionably about how you got those stats. <laughs> I rolled the dice, I swear. Yeah. Uh, class colour dice, I've got three, so three more points. 
Alignment? Alignment, yep. I'm where I should be, so that gets me three points. The midline hermit. Completely neutral, oh, I just want to, yep. to hit stuff. You just want to hit stuff and, leave, and have them leave you alone. Yeah, how dare they come near aristocracy. <laughs> That's my backstory. Yep. Uh, so I needed a blue in the final one on strength, which I have. Green in the second one on dex, which I have. Purple in the first one on con, which mm -hmm. I have. Int in the point, red in the point one int, which I have, black in the second one on wiz, which I have, and white in the last one on charisma, which I have, so I get six points. Nice. Six that. points there, nice. Up to 24. Ooh. Uh, armor cards. So you I get... get one point. Yay! Yay! My greaves. You're awesome, you thought it'd be worth it. Alright, now you go and on they... to your traits. So you. So, Two points for being proud. And evil. That's very nice. Cunning, one for each skill of card I have. I have oh, four. No. So four more points, up to no. 31. No. And loyal, four points if I've completed all my attribute points. Which I did. Oh. Oh. 35. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> apparently, apparently, I've stolen Nora's ability, and I now win games in the first time. Oh, I yeah! And now I've won this. You did, you did. Um, so, with a winning score of 35, congratulations, Dom. I present to you, through the power of the internet, the uh, the trophy, if you'd like to take so that from close. me. I know you were so, so close. close. There you go. I'll just, uh, uh, there, there you go. There you go. I'll just toss it. There we are. Thank you. Sorry. Oh, it's a mystery trophy. It's a mystery trophy. <laughs> uh, oh, it's come back. Oh, God. Um, so that is role player. Um, I enjoyed that. What do you guys think? That was think? good. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, it got... I like that it increased the complexity as it went on, because you get the more abilities and more things going on. Yeah. Yeah, the puzzle, the puzzle becomes a little bit more complicated, and you get to develop things. A strategy is off. You get to see how your strategy plays out, which I, I was really rooting for you to do that with your with your full set of armor. I thought you would have done it. I know. It's a shame. Uh, you were close. Well. You were very close, though. Next you, time, you still beat Luke. That's the important. Part. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> she did. Important part. She did beat me. That's fine. Um, oh. but yeah, I enjoyed this. This is this is on my this is one of the games that's on my wish list. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity to play it with a few people and find out whether it was a game that people would want to play with me. So I think it's uh, good to say that yes, they yeah, did. yeah, I'd play that again. Yeah, I would too. It wasn't too like it wasn't too overthinky, but that's because I didn't go for skill cards or tr or like yeah, I just didn't go for skill cards. I kind of ignored that part mostly because I was. Yes. You just tanked he it. He was also a lunatic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to do screenshots of uh, of this at some point just so I can get those character stats because I want them as NPCs in my next campaign. Sure. So that's going to be fun. Go for it. The, oh Ridiculous stats. This, better, not, these, better not get the wrong side of them. These three is a party that you guys come across at some point. <laughs> that, is going to, that would be the best day wow. ever. Because it'll be a joke specifically for three of us and the two, you two are just exactly going <gasps> <laughs> Do you find I, this elf? I, she looks a bit of a lunatic. <laughs> what? Um, what? And she's somehow with an aristocratic barbarian frog princess. Yes. Yep. Uh, along with a uh, what am I? I forgot what I am. It's been a while. It's been a long day. The pa the halfling wizard. The halfling, the Patrison, uh, halfling wizard. Guardian. Guardian, yeah. So it's very protective, but also doesn't want to get hurt because he's squishy. Because wizard. And halfling. Uh, yeah, and also has a constitution of eight. That wizard is not lasting for very long. Oh. <laughs> uh, dear. But he's honourable and courageous, but also clumsy. So, you know. Yeah, he tries. He's worked. He's worked hard to get it. And by the and to be fair, look at that bit. That is a handsome little halfling. Aww. What does the female look like? Uh, that's a good question. Let's flip it over and find out. 
Let's see, Hit if, the board. Let's see if this is going to Let's see if the throw. dice goes everywhere. Oh, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah she's cute. She's all right. Yeah. Looks all... This side, I think, is actually the female plug skin. Though. Yes, it's yeah. Hard to tell. Uh, uh, let's find out. Let's flip it over. The other, well, the other side was how it was originally. Oh, yeah, okay. I'd say, I'd say ju if anything, just because of the cold background that they gave for the... Uh, Oh no, it's exactly so the same. same. Oh, it's, she looked that looks, different. That's a, frog. That's more feminine. Is that frog? <laughs> Not we. Yeah. Less butch. Yeah. Mind you, that said, I've turned it off from the uh, stream so no one else can see what we're talking about. Which oh, great. Um, cool. That's yeah, fine. Could have warned us. Those alluring come. Those alluring come to bed eyes. Exactly from the frog. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, listen, thank you very much for joining us whilst we play this game of roleplay. If you'd like to, it's available on Tabletopia, so you can go and play it for yourself before purchasing the physical copy of the game, which I think I'm going to do at some point, because I really enjoyed this. This was a lot of fun. Um, there are expansions available for this that you can go and have a look at as well, and um, you can also visit our Just in Keeping page. You can go and give uh, some money to charity if you like, and donate it to Dimension UK, where we will continue to raise our game. The next stream that we have planned is next Tuesday, where we're going to be playing Stonemaier's original game, Viticulture. Um, again, we're going to be playing that yes. on Tabletopia. We're going, to be move, we're going to be moving some meeples and making some wine. Hopefully, Ross will join us for that one. We, it will depend on Bibi. So we may, we were going to play cartographers at the end of this one, if we had time. We've kind of run out of it. So what we might do is we might start off with cartographers just to give Ross time to put Arthur to bed and then yeah. come and join us because he does enjoy a good game of this culture. Um, yes. And then I think our final stream for October is going to be next, and fri next Friday where we're going to be continuing our campaign. Uh, but going into November, we can announce we're going to be doing New Game November. So we are going to be playing, If when we do do some of these streams, we're going to find the time to sort of fit everyone. It's probably going to be a Thursday, because that seems to be the best time that fits everyone. Maybe, we'll have to see. For now, for now. We may move to Wednesdays once we are, our Wednesday campaign finishes. We'll deal with it as it as and when it comes up. But we're going to be playing new games that we haven't played before. Like, Roleplayer was a game that we haven't played before, and I think we've all enjoyed it. Like, I like this, because I'm, I'm going to keep winning. Is it? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, we're not going to be inviting Dom, so we're going to be... What, what's your schedule so that we can't... Uh... No! <laughs> uh, no. Um, it's, the whole point of this is to... The whole point of this uh, stream was that we had the opportunity to play some board games with people that we haven't seen as much of as we would have liked in the last year and to raise money for charity. And I'm having fun. And I hope you guys are both as well. Yes. You, all the players that have yeah. come on have enjoyed themselves. Yes. Um, yeah. So the more we can do this, the better, I think. And you know, it's a lot of fun. And you know, we paid for tables, so we might as well use it. Mm -hmm. um, so, until then, uh, thank you very much for joining us. We hope you're staying safe out there, play some games with the loved ones, and uh, ooh, dear. we will see you next time. Thank you very much for joining us. Good night. Bye. Bye bye. You need to go to the end of the scene. Farewell.